In this video, I would like to show you what I've done to the walking paths. As you can see, I've added some different types of flowers to this area. And I am going to explain the different plants I've added to the butterfly walking path. Enjoy. Good evening. As you can see, I've been working on the butterfly walking path. So what I did today, I trimmed the cranberry hibiscus to the right and it's just going to cause them to create more branches and create more of a full shrubbery look. I added two cranberry hibiscus over here and I separated them out, spaced them from the Mexican sunflower because that plant will grow tall and it will bush out and I will just keep it trimmed to control it. So what I also added to this area, you can see the seeds. These are butterfly and bird plant seeds, flower seeds over here that will be covered with some topsoil and um, wood chips soon. I have these seeds that I bought from the dollar store for 50% off, actually 75% off a couple weeks ago that I'm going to spread in this area as well and these are the dwarf semi-dwarf zinnias so here is milkweed which is for the monarch caterpillars marigolds the mexican sunflower i added a couple zinnias from another area in the garden that i started from seeds this is purple salvia more marigolds, a different variety. And I added some of the milkweed. This plant, I had cut all the milkweed off because I was feeding my monarch caterpillars with, but it will grow tall and it will bush out like the other milkweed plant. I added periwinkle from another area of the garden. This will reseed itself. So this area will have a lot of things that um, are self-seeding. So I really won't have to do a lot of replanting in this area. This is porterweed, which hosts another type of butterfly. The butterfly that lays its eggs on the porterweed is called tropical butterfly. This beautiful butterfly caterpillars will eat the leaves of the porter plant. In the garden right now, I do have some monarch caterpillars on my different milkweeds throughout the garden. Here's one of the little fellas right here. And I also have some of the yellow cloudless caterpillars eaten away on my cassia popcorn tree. I really enjoy this project and bringing pollinators to my garden, not only as to feed my plants but also have a home in my garden thanks for watching if you liked the video like leave a comment subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on what's growing on in the soul gardener's garden thank you and have a wonderful evening